we're here with Shandini, it's a beautiful name, and she is one of the founders of Activity Hero, and uh, we actually connected online over AngelList, so I'm glad that we can talk today at the 500 Startups Demo Day. And uh, Shandini, let's talk about Activity Hero and uh, why you're here today. Okay. Uh, so we're here today because we're part of the 500 Startups family, so we're part of the Accelerator and it's our demo day today. So my company, Activity Hero, we are like Yelp for kids' activities. So we make it easier for busy parents to find the ballet class, the basketball camp, the Lego camp, and yes, even a Star Wars camp that fits their schedule and budget. So parents are very busy, kids do a lot of activities, like 300 hours a, a year is what an average child spends in all these after-school activities and summer camps. And yet there is no one resource where parents can go find these today. Uh, believe it or not, parents still go to find these activities in Craigslist and ask other parents. This is what moms are doing, talking in the grocery store line or in the parties all the time. You, you just get it as a reference from other moms. There's no one place where it's aggregated. And, uh, and also we, we connect parents around activities because kids don't want to go to camps and classes by themselves. They want to go with their friends. And moms want to get recommendations from other moms. So we connect them around these activities as well. So I'd be interested on why you felt that there was a need. How did you figure that out? Are you a mom? or Both, both my co-founders are moms. We call ourselves like the two and a half moms. Uh, so my child, yeah, my, yeah, my child is a startup. Uh, both my co-founders are moms. Between them, they have like four kids in elementary school. And they've spent a lot of time looking for uh, after school activities in summer camps. And all three of us also happen to be engineers. And we recognize this is a big project management problem. This is not parenting, right? It should not be so hard to go find an activity when you would rather be spending time with your kids instead of spending time trying to find all these activities for them. So it was, uh, it, it is still a very big problem, and it's our problem, and that's why we're solving it. That's spectacular because you know it's hard enough finding a technical co-founder, but you have three female co-founders who are engineers. And also moms. And also moms. Well, yeah. two and a half are moms. But so, how did you guys meet, and how did you figure out that hey, this is something you'd like to pursue together? Um, so. Shilpa and I met at Hacker Dojo, so I was working on, uh, I was hooking up an ultrasound Doppler to an iPhone, I have a hardware background, so pregnant moms could see the heartbeat, heartbeat of their baby on the iPhone, and Shilpa was doing Activity Hero at Hacker Dojo, and we used to just do co-marketing events together. So when I had to shut down my company, I'd already known her for quite a while, and we'd done marketing campaigns together, so we joined, and Peggy was working on summer camps by herself, and you know, we, we just happened to be introduced by a mutual friend, and we just hit it off. And so, inquiring startups want to know, how did you get here today? 500. Um, well, a couple of things. One is, uh, what, you know, traction, obviously. By the time we met Christine or Dave, we already knew what the big problem is. It's a need, it's, it's, it's a pain pill, it's not even a vitamin. And we already had the, the, the customer and the, and the, uh, the user proof on it. They loved what we're doing. Uh, we had a we had a lot of traffic already. We were making money. We were cash flow positive. We had revenue already, and uh, we 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 ambushed Dave at a party and cold pitched him. You know that works, but was, we shouldn't yeah, tell too many yeah, people about that. It doesn't it doesn't really work uh, very well? We just happened to be lucky because uh, I mean obviously we're building a good company, but the timing was right in the sense that they were looking at family tech startups because. Family tech parents spend, uh, or moms just spend, uh, control over $2.1 trillion in spending. And uh, there are not enough startups disrupting that space or doing anything in that space, honestly, to be, you know, it, moms have a lot of problems. Not enough people are spending time solving those problems. So 500 Startups was looking for companies like that. And uh, we just happened to pitch Dave at that time. And of course, we have, we're very passionate entrepreneurs and we had traction, so that made it easier. But if you don't have traction and, and Dave isn't looking for you, then uh, it's probably best to still work on your traction. It's very important that it doesn't matter whether you're at 500 or not at 500. You should be working on something you're passionate about and that your users love and want to use. Then it doesn't matter. You can get to and get whatever you want beyond that after that. Um, and the best way to get into 500 would be to to meet and uh, to meet one of the founders or meet one of the mentors, get to know them, learn from them, and uh, be recommended into 500 through the network. That's that that is the better way to get into 500 startups. Well, spectacular! You make it look all so easy. And good luck on your demo today. We're very excited. This is going to be up as soon as possible. So we're going to be tweeting at you. If they want to know more about Activity Hero, where should they go? Activityhero.com. Easy enough. We'll be back with more interviews.